The sum of three voltages in a circuit is 50 volts. The middle sized one is four volts more than the smallest. The largest is 10 more than the smallest. What is the value of each voltage? Write a linear equation that will help you solve this application problem. Use the variable S for smallest, smallest voltage, uh, which is nice because we have three different voltages going on. We have the smallest voltage, and I'll need some space here, so let's, um, let's not do that. Let's go back and move this over. So I'm going to say, because they told us to, that S is the smallest voltage smallest. Uh, then they got a medium sized one, so M, well I'll just say medium. You know what, let's, let's make that, uh, let's try the color code this. So I'll make M medium in red. And then we also have a large one. The good news for us is that all three of these are written in terms of the smallest one. So our, our medium one, the, me, the middle, I said medium, middle is four more than the smallest. So uh, again, it doesn't matter how you write that, but I would take the smallest one, and then it's four more than that, so add four. And then we got the largest one. The largest is 10 more than the smallest, so again, my large is going to be the smallest, but we're going to add 10 to it. So that's the expression that I get for all three voltages. So let's see if we can write the equation. So I'm going to do it like this, and it doesn't have to necessarily have to be in this order. But I'm going to take my smallest one, so the smallest, and then we're going to compare it to, I said medium, but I'll put middle here. There's one, two, and then three is the large one. I can spell large. And we will compare this with a total voltage. All right, now we don't have to assign operations yet, but I do know that I'm going to add them, add them. So I'm going to add them. There we go. So the smallest, well, we know that the smallest is just S, S for smallest, the middle one. Uh, you could put M right there, but we don't want two variables. We want only one variable in the expression, and the middle one is showing the smallest one, but uh, four more than it. And then the large one, still compared to the smallest one, but it's 10 more than it as well. So if we add these together, we should get the total voltage, which up here they said you get a total voltage of 50 volts. So we'll put a 50 in there. That is our equation. So that's the linear equation that they want us to solve. Uh, well, let's go ahead and solve it then. So I would combine, I got one, two, three S's, two combined, one, two, three, three S's. And then I've got also a 4 plus a 10, which is going to be positive 14. So this equals 50. Now, principles of equality. So first up, let's get rid of that 14. So minus 14 on both sides. That'll zero that out. We can drop the three small voltages which is going to equal 50 minus 14. So we'll make that a 10. 10 minus 4 is 6. 4 minus 1 is 3. And then last of all, for my small voltage, I'll divide both sides by 3. So that's 1. 1s, which was part of the plan. 36 divided by 3 is 12. 12v for voltage. Uh, so, the, what was the question? What was the value of each voltage? Okay, the smallest voltage we now know is 12 volts. The medium one is, so we're going back up here, is small plus 4. So that would be then, that's going to be 12 plus 4. 
which is 16 volts. So uh, middle. is 16 volts and we got a large one so once again here at the top right all right we got the small voltage which is 12 we need to add 10 to that though because it's 10 more 22 volts 22 volts now again we should check 22 plus 16, that'd be 38 plus 12, 50 volts. So it does satisfy that condition, and we did it.